I'm back with the Shoptomi makeup look of my Durga Puja series and I have created this gorgeous pink ombre eyes with the super dramatic angel winged eyeliner paired with glossy lips but definitely you can wear a matte transfer proof lipstick with this eye look because you are going to wear a mask which is the mandatory thing of this year's Durga Puja so I'm going to share everything I hope you're gonna like it make sure you subscribe and let's get started with the tutorial So I have well moisturized my skin, it's well prepped, uh, so it's looking quite healthy. Now it's time to move on to the eyebrows. I'm taking a spoolie and brushing it through my brows to give it a really nice shape. Now for the brows, I'm using one of my favorite products. It's by Europe Girl. It's the 3D uh, Sculpt Eyebrow Kit from Europe Girl Paris. And I'm using the middle shade from this kit. And using the applicator it comes with, I'm going to at first outline my brow. And at the same time, I'm going to fill it in. Yes, guys, I had groomed my eyebrows after ages. I think I have visited salon after seven to eight months and my brows are looking now quite presentable taking a spoolie I'm going to just distribute the product all over my brows and now I'm taking a concealer and cleaning out the edges so that my brows look much more lifted and prominent and this brow product is of a really really good quality now it's time to prime my skin I am using Maybelline master prime primer in the variant redness control so this particular uh, primer is uh, meant for controlling redness of your uh, face because it has got a greenish tint in it which helps in cancelling those redness so if you have oily to combination skin which is more of prone to acne this particular product will definitely help you out in just making your skin look really even out and just helps in creating a nice base for your foundation to work on for the foundation i'm using l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation in the shade 260 golden sun and i just love this foundation guys if you guys have been following me for quite some time you know i just love this foundation because of its coverage it looks really healthy on the skin it just is a really nice long lasting foundation it gives you an effect of a matte foundation without looking matte on the skin it looks so healthy it's having such a nice full coverage perfect for any sort of occasions festivals and i think if you get your perfect shade you will be going to love this foundation now for the concealer, I'm using my all-time favorite uh, Pack Spotlight Ready uh, Concealer in the shade Nutcracker. And this is also a full coverage concealer, perfect for festivals, occasions, and it blends uh, seamlessly onto your skin, helps in just hiding imperfections of your skin. And it's really, really long-lasting. This is one of the most smudge-proof, butch-proof concealers that I have in my collection. It looks really good, but don't put too much of this, guys. Now I'm going to use a cream blush. This one is by Hina Haina Beauty yeah, of our Lush Rouge collection in the shade Persica, which you can use as a blush, as a lipstick, as well as as an eyeshadow. So you can definitely use it in a multiple ways. Uh, today I'm using it as my blush and it's a very pretty dusty rose uh, pink shade having hints of coral in it which looks really good on the skin and you can see it has added such a nice a flush of color on my cheeks. It blends seamlessly into my skin which I really really like. Now I'm using this Sugar Dream Cover Mattifying Compact in the shade Chococino, one of my favorite compacts because of the texture. It looks really good on the skin. I'm going to set my under eyes and I'm going to set the T-zone of my face because I have put a cream blush on so I'm not going to set my overall face, just setting the areas where I have put the concealer on because uh, the T-zone of my face actually gets the most oily in time so I'm just setting those areas and you can see my face is looking quite flawless, now it's time to move on to the eyes. I'm using this Eye Magic 35 color eyeshadow palette and it's a gorgeous colorful palette guys which you can use in a multiple ways. At first, I'm just setting my eyelids using a powder brush and a compact powder. Now, I'm taking this rusty orange shade from the palette and with the help of a fluffy blending brush, I'm going to apply it all over my crease in circular motion. I'm going to slowly build up the color. You can use any light brown shade you have in your collection. Now, I'm going to take this warm toned a deep brown shade and with the help of a smudger come more like a definer brush, I'm going to apply it in my lower crease as you can see and also going to create a shape of V in the outer corner of my eyes and blend it really really well. Uh, this particular look needs a lot of blending guys. Uh, taking the fluffy blending brush again uh, with the previous uh, rusty orange shade from the palette, I'm going to blend out the edges so that everything looks really nice and there is no harsh lines. 
you just need to blend your eyeshadow really really well guys now i'm taking this uh dusty a uh, rosy magenta sort of shade uh, which is having matte texture in a fluffy crease brush this is a small crease brush i'm going to apply it in the outer two third of my uh, eyes and drag it towards my crease and blend it really well using the same fluffy blending brush i'm going to again blend out the edges so that everything looks really nice Taking a concealer on a flat shader brush, I'm going to cut my crease half away. So I'm just doing half cut crease look. I'm just applying the concealer all over my lid like this on half of my lid. And when the concealer is a little bit tacky, I'm going to apply that bone shade in the inner one third of my lid. As you can see, with the help of a small flat shader, more like a definer brush. Now I'm taking this Barbie pink shade, which is having matte texture. And with the help of this Vega flat shader brush, I'm going to apply it at the center of my eyelid and just diffuse it really well with the uh, shades which I have put in the inner and the outer corner of my eyes I'm going to take that pack a uh, three four five brush again and blend out the edges so that there is no line of demarcation and everything looks really seamless and nice going back to that rusty brown shade again and with the help of the smudger brush I'm going to apply it all over my lower lash line like this followed by uh, that magenta shade I'm going to concentrate it in the outer two-third of my lower lash line actually I'm just doing the similar thing as I have done on my eyelid I just need my eyelid as well as my lower lash line looks the same guys so I'm using that pink again at the center of my lower lash line followed by that bone color in the inner one third of my lower lash line this is the most important part of this eye look I'm using sugar I won't use so double matte liquid eyeliner in the shade black swan it's a complete liquid matte eyeliner at first I'm going to just create a shape of V in the outer corner of my eye and extend that V towards the tail of my brow and create an arc over there following my crease line like this now I'm going to connect that arc uh, towards my lash line uh, like this I'm going to now create very thin winged eyeliner from the inner corner of my eyes uh, towards the tail of my winged eyeliner as you can see now I have started on filling uh, the gap in between the lines so this particular look needs a little more precision and creativity so I'm just as you can see defining the edges really really well and if you have made any sort of mistake you can definitely scrape it off using a spoolie and I have also extended uh, the line of my crease a little bit. Now I'm taking this, that black eyeshadow and with the help of an eyeliner brush, I'm going to smoke out uh, the edge of the wing like this. So angel winged eyeliner needs a little bit of smokiness and dramatic look. So I'm just using a black eyeshadow to smoke out that wing and also going to just smoke out my crease a uh, little bit. As you can see, it has helped in creating such a nice a dramatic look in the outer corner of my eyes and now i'm using this nika i'm black kajal which is one of the most premiest kajals guys that i have used it's jet black it's a very pigmented helps in just applying on your waterline really really well so i'm going to thickly apply it on my lower lash line as well i have smoked it out and you can see this is how the eye look turned out very pretty and very dramatic now i'm I'm using a mascara. This one is uh, the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I really like uh, the applicator of this particular mascara because it helps in coating each and every lash I have. So you can definitely try it. Also a really great mascara. Now I'm going to wear a pair of falsies which I got from a local store and it's a really an affordable one guys. This is how my final eye makeup turned out which I really really like. Now it's time to move on to the face again. I'm using Nika Contour and Highlighter Duo in the shade Sizzle Chisel and using that contour shade from the palette in a contour brush from PAC. I'm going to apply it uh, in the outer perimeters of my face, under my uh, cheekbones, on my jawline, on the areas where I just need to add those artificial shadows so that my face look really slim and structured and nice. And this particular shade is really subtle and looks really gorgeous on Indian skin tones the product is of a really really good quality as well i'm going to contour my nose as well to make my nose a lot more sharper and you can see this is how my contoured face looks like now it's time to move on to the blush i'm using one of my favorite products of all time it's the color bar cheek illusion blush in the shade sweet scarlet a gorgeous earthy toned blush 
uh, which is having pink undertones and having a lot of browns in it goes really well on indian skin tone so i'm just putting it on the apples of my face and you can see it's very very pigmented so make sure that you use very little amount of this i have overdone my blush so i just need to tone it down using my beauty sponge which i had previously used for applying my foundation so for the highlighter i'm using nika illuminating and highlighting duo in the shade 24k glam which comes with two shades of highlighters i'm taking a more like a rose gold highlighter from the palette and with the help of a highlighter brush i'm going to apply it on the highest points of my face on my cheekbones on my forehead on my nose cupid's bow chin and this particular shade is having such a nice rosy tones as well as a champagne undertone which goes really well on indian skin tones and pairs up really well with the eye look which i have created today guys the formula is really good as well so i'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes using the same highlighter and also going to put it on my brow bone to highlight my brow bone so definitely you can build this particular highlighter uh, so that you or in order to make it look really a beaming highlighter on your face you can see this is how my highlighted face looks like now it's time to move on to the lips i'm using mac a retro matte lipstick in the shade all fired up a gorgeous warm toned pink shade having lots of reds in it it's having more like a reddish undertone goes really well on every indian skin tones and i think it's a great festive lip colors which you guys definitely need to try i know mac lipsticks are pricey but some of the shades of her collection actually worth the buy guys and all fired up is such a shade which you guys definitely need to try it looks so amazing on the lips the formula is a little bit drying but if you moisturize your lips you are going to love this particular shade but i thought that i just need to put a little bit of lip gloss so i am using sugar time to shine lip gloss in the shade pinello peach top and i'm going to just apply it on my lips you can definitely use any matte lipstick any nude matte lipstick for this look as well so now to set my face i'm using neebly lasting fix makeup setting spray uh, which will just seal everything so make sure that you seal your face using a makeup setting spray i am wearing these pair of junkies which i got from beatnik and uh, this is how the finish look turned out a super dramatic one i really like it you can definitely change the angel wing eyeliner into a normal wing eyeliner and you're surely going to love it i really like how this makeup turned out So this is the finished look guys this is how i have created this gorgeous look for this year's shop to me and i hope you really like it if you did make sure you hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel a lot of videos are on its way stay safe stay healthy i love you bye guys